Hello everyone. This video tutorial I'm making to demonstrate the method we can use to compute the plan or schedule percentage complete from a Primera program. When we are making a baseline program, with the baseline program we need to submit the progress curve which is based on the cost and resource. So this video I'm, make, uh, I'm making to demonstrate how can we create the or produce a progress curve uh, for, for the plan and schedule values based, uh, based on the budgeted cost and budgeted quantities. So the program I'm showing here is already uh, loaded with the cost and already uh, resources are assigned. So if you see here the project is value is around 306 million and it contains for 484,000 more than 444,000 man hours. So this video is the, is the sec first of the sec uh, first of the two videos where I will show you how can compute the lay early and late curve based on the project cost and I will I'm planning to make another separate video to make the progress and uh, pro to make the plan and plan uh, progress curve based on the resources both early and late values. So let's start it now. First, we have to, the first requirement is that we have the baseline program and it is better to have the baseline program produced first and get consensus from the consultant before loading the cost or resources. So this program is, we suppose that is already have uh, appro initial approval from the client or consultant and then we assign the cost which is 306,629,571.68 and already we assign the resources. The budgeted costs shown here are the BOQ costs and the resources are computed based on the quantities and amount shown in the BOQ. So this both based on the BOQ and BOQ is the price is a contract document and the price and uh, quantities mostly are uh, mutually agreed between the client and the contractors. So let's start. Here there's, there, are, there are several methods you can use but here what I'm using, I'm using the report method. So you have to going to select the met report from the left menu. Okay, this is our report format. If you go from report, it will show you several built-in uh, reports in the Primera software. You can go up down from the scroll and then you have to add new report for the cost. Okay, so we go from here, edit. And in the edit, there's add button. And you can use right hand menu or right hand menu, vertical menu in the Primera program itself to add a report. So here I'm going from edit and add. When you add button, create, when you press the add button, it will show you a report wizard to create or modify a report. Here we select, because we select add, so it will show only the new report. And, and when after this, we can go to next. When you go in the next, it will give you the next wizard it is select subject area so here you have several built-in options from the primera and we are going to compute the cost or distribute it over the time so we will select this option time distribution data then we go to next and then distributing data then we have to select the if we have to select which uh, which data you need from the program so we there is a project expense and there is resources mostly we are using these two Sometimes the some planners they assign the BOQ cost in project expense and it is mostly recommended by the consultant also and sometimes the contractor uh, they are assigned the resource as a as a separate as a separate non labor resource in the resource tab. So here in the program I I am sharing with you the cost is assigned as a separate non labor resource. So we select resource. If your project is loaded with the expense, then you need to select the project expense. So because our this project program which I'm sharing with you is cost is loaded as a resource. So I select resource and then we press next. Then we have the forget we have get new uh, dialog box which is configure selected subject area and you can see the resources selected here. So from the resource we have we have several options we have to modify here. We can select this column option. I mean you select the column option, it will show you the column shown in the report generated. So here we don't need this default unit, so we take it back. Primary role, we are not using it. Take it back, back. unit of measurement will be the, our unit of currency, it's not required, we we'll can take it back. Resource type is uh, something somehow useful for us, but it's not, uh, it's not that very mandatory. So we can remove it also to have more space with our reports. Once we did this one, we can select apply and then we go OK. Then we go group and sort. In the group and sort, you can see here 
you have to group by what some we are going to group by resource so just press s and it will come resource also here and then we select show grand totals and show summary only and after this press apply and okay and then you have to go filter in the filter option you can select resource okay and then just resource type equals to then you have so you can select no labor or labor or if you are not sure from here you can select resource resource itself resource name resource equal to then if you select this resource it will open the resource hierarchy or resource dictionary here you see we have several project i don't need this is not my project so i close this one this is my project so i select in the remix project i down i summarize this labor resources non labor resources which includes the equipment dozer wheel loader water tanker etc so i minimize this also and then we have the cost budget which is a non labor resource and cost assigned so just select cost and press okay and then apply and okay then we go to next and the next you have to select time scale in the time scale when you open the time scale you see this time scale start so you can specify any specific date if you there or if you are using for the baseline pro, uh, project this progress if you are pro, making the progress curve for a baseline program it is should be start from the ps ps stand here for the project start so if you open this drop down box you can see ps earliest project start earliest project finish data date current date you have several option here so for our baseline program project start is the our op selection then this here we have the data in date intervals you if you are making monthly progress curve you can select monthly if you are making weekly you can select from here weekly also and i am using day from the day option is the minimum option you can use and i it is preferable because from day you can make uh, percentage from the weekly and monthly also it is the uh, the best selection is day is for the reason that when you compute the plan percentage based on the weekly and monthly intervals so it will the primary give you the values at the end of the week but it, when you are making the report it is maybe some sometime somewhere in between the week so in this case when you update the program in the mid in the mid of a week you will find the some some value of the plan percentage this plan percentage will not match with the progress value show, progress value shown in your progress curve because the progress curve shows you the value at the end of the week or at the end of the month so avoid this confusion you can compute the values based on the date and the same values you are using in your for the your report the same value you can use plan value in the progress curve also so avoid any confusion so sometime because the consultant may make a issue and make some comment that the plan value shown in the updated program not shown is not coinciding or matching with the value shown in the progress curve so this is in this, for this case if you select the day value it will be easy from this day you can compute weekly and monthly easily then after this you can select okay and go to time interval in the time interval you can see here we have remaining early units units is used for the labor labor or for, for the efforts so we are not we are using for the cost so we take it back and we minimize the down and open uh, minimize the units uh, option and open the cost option here we have cost early remaining early cost which is the early cost values and remaining late cost which is the late cost values from here you select this one and then you go to next resources just to identify my report i just make 1 2 3 4 so that it will be easy to identify okay then you go to select next we are going to we are going to run the report here just remove this check box format number if you remove this format if you keep this one the report generated will be contain up to three characters so some and the, the many three characters will go in next cell in the primary in the excel so to get all the values in one one cell better to remove this format numbers and then run the report when you select the run the report option it will give you several option to offer the output of the report which is one of the one of them is print preview directly to print email i am selecting this detail uh, delimited text file and it will give you excel sheet so it is easy for you to make any calculation over it so you press okay when you press okay it will give you message that the file already exists so just overwrite it now your report is generated you can see here you can see this remaining early remaining late and this is the cost value 
So to make this easy for us, just I take these values and put in an Excel sheet separately. I just press Ctrl C to copy and open the Excel sheet and press it here, Ctrl V. Okay, and just changes the early cost, early cost value, and this is late cost value. Okay, and here over it, over it you can write the date like date 2022 July 1st and then drag it close, control enter, it will give you the 1st July 27. Then here you can make it, here is this value, month is this value and this, this plus 1 value. 2nd July. So then you can form, copy this formula up to the end. Just press Shift Control and left arrow to select the last value. I just type here 1 to select the, to the end of the values and then just make the enter. It will copy the formula into all the values. Okay, and then we select this value and just make it alignment up. We compute, compute the cumulative only value and cumulative date value and just we know that this is early and late value first value will be the same as the first value we'll just click one control early value press control enter it will copy you late value will come from the late you can see and early come from the early you can see here okay for the remaining you can do here select the values from here Okay, press, press shift control left arrow it will go to the end and you can see here I just write one one here to select the last value which is our value is project is finished at the end of December so I just write one one here so that I have selected till the end of this values okay and you can see here then what we will do here we write the formula that cumulative of any value is equal to cumulative of the previous plus this month or this time value so we select this one and just press control enter it will copy the same formula in all the values you can see here okay you can see this is empty cells okay and then if you go at the end of this value i will show you here you can see this end value is matching with the project value this 306 million 629 571 little difference may be come out this may be because of this uh, calculation inside the prime error so point some decimal decimal digits maybe have some issue here so ignore this uh, or just manually we can modify this one you can see here and then this is the values now we compute the cumulative early percentage and cumulative late percentage if you go at the end of the value you can see that our value is 306 million okay and the cell is G, gd7 okay so what we go here we select these two values okay or we can do one thing you can select first value go at the end press one one here then select this first value early percentage late percentage press shift control left arrow and then type the formula here for the first value which is equals to early values divided by gd7 which is our formula reference and just press f4 to log this gd7 and then press control enter it will give you values see all this is gd7 gd7 is fixed and values taken from here now it is contains so many values so i prefer to make round formula and press round and make round up to the five digits it's more than enough for us and then press this as a percentage and then press and percentage up to two digits okay and if you go up the end you will see that the value is going up to the hundred percent okay so in this way you can compute the plan and actual percentage on the weekly basis on the daily basis from from the curve and for example if your project is finished uh, pro progress uh, pro uh, meeting is happening on every uh, for first support is happening fourth the next support will be happening on the 11th of July 
so you know what is the percentage early percentage and uh, 11 july and what is the late percentage on the late uh, 11 july and if you go the next report will be 18th of july so 18 july you can get here 3.21 is uh, early value plan person percentage and 1.77 is the late percentage similarly you can uh, compute all the values from here but if you compute the weekly progress percentage or schedule percentage based on the program the primera will give you the values at the end of the week so and the end of the week may be is sunday and your report happening on every monday or tuesday so in this case the plan values shown in the updated program will not match in the the what shown in the primera program so progress curve is different value and provider program, program will be shows different value and the consultant or the client maybe they are not aware of this issue and they make uh, they make some comments that the plan percentage shown in the progress curve not matching with the program in the uh, shown in the program so to avoid this confusion and to be to take all of us in the same page to better to use daily basis and compute these values uh, use this value in the progress curve so the, the values i show you here you can extract from here the weekly and monthly and make the progress curve for the weekly and monthly i will um, planning to make separate video to how to produce this curves in some other video and till that time till next time thank you for your watching i want to thank you for your time to watch my video and i will really appreciate if you give me like share and subscribe it will it will be a will be a really appreciated and helpful for me and will motivate me to have more videos uh, like this for you in the future thanks again and see you see you soon thank you